Hey everybody, welcome back to Eastern Promises, EU4 multiplayer featuring myself, Northern Line, as well as Arumba and Mathis. Say hello. Whoa, you're switching it up. <laughs> I don't know what to say now. It's like now. exercising. You know, you want to. You don't want to do the same exercise all the time. You want to hit muscles that are not hit anymore. In this case, that muscle is my brain. Right. And see, this time you said it right. It, it's very true. See, you just got to stay Maybe loose. it's alphabetical, so it's easier for you to remember. <laughs> I, I don't know. Okay, yeah, let's go. Let's, let's begin, yeah. <laughs> now, now you've got me very confused. I regret this decision immediately and will be returning to familiarity at my earliest convenience. <laughs> Thank you. God damn. <laughs> yeah, we gotta get the time going, though, right away. Get as much going as possible. Well, yeah, I mean, you know, it's pretty slow. Come on, Manchu. I threw, I threw you an insult, bro. I am I'll insult you again in 1488, apparently. I'm not allowed to send more than one insult over the course of, like, ten years. I am actually scared shitless. Um... Of who? Uh, Karakon Yunlu. I can get an alliance with the Mamluks when my current war ends. And they border Karakon Yunlu, which should be a good deterrent. And then maybe I can get my alliance back with... I really want to ally with Muscovy, but that's super unlikely to happen. Well, they're orthodox in the beginning, aren't they? Yeah. So, you think you'd be hard-pressed to, to be allies with... After like Orthodox. after something like a hundred years, doesn't that penalty get lessened? Like, I thought Not really. Because someone was telling me that like at the start of the game, as a Catholic nation, it's basically impossible to ally like the Ottomans, for example, because of the religious penalty. But I thought that it became a little bit more lax as you you got further and further into the game. Like maybe as religious tolerance grows or something. I don't know. Mm, not that I know of, unless you have idea groups hmm. or something, maybe that minimize. Where do you guys like to try and keep your stability at? About zero. Yeah, zero. Or zero or zero to me. one. That's what I'm doing too. I don't like to boost it. It's just a huge waste of points usually. That's how I feel. I used to boost it all the time, but me too. This, and I, this when particular I first played, playthrough, I stopped. <laughs> I think a lot of people when they first started playing EU4, they came from EU3, and stability was different then, and gotcha. they actually go higher than three. I think I, I never really played EU3, but you know, buying up stability is very costly in this. It's see. I but, really hate Manchu. <laughs> it's really hard for me to imagine playing without monarch points, but they don't exist in EU three. Oh, they have two. They're two points away from accepting an alliance. Accept it. No. <laughs> one point. I wish. Okay. The, I wish one point. Like one aspect of the last federation was in this, where I could. Uh, seed distrust between two nations. Yes. Well, there really is that. that. You have to can have I? rebel. You have to have um, espionage ideas. The espionage ideas, and then you can. There's an uh, an action that you can do. It's called um, so discontent. Um, no. Yeah. See, that takes too much. In, it takes too much work. <laughs> Sabotage reputation. That's the one. Uh, fuck that shit. Minus fifty opinion with all neighbors and allies, rivals, everything. Can it's you too much see time. me now, uh, Roomba? Uh, nope. I can see still just Timurids and Shagatai and Kara Kuyunlo. You can see Shagatai? They only have like two provinces left. Yeah, those are the only two provinces I can see. Oh, come on. <laughs> I took over like all their country just so I could One be One day we'll see each other. <laughs> yeah. Me and the Oirats really like each other apparently right oh, now. Oh, no. Don't do not do that to me, Mattis. <laughs> There's no alliance or anything. I was hoping that what the plan was, I was hoping that I would be able to get Manchu. And mm -hmm. I was going to see if I could vassalize the Oirat Horde. That would but... be crazy. Well, they don't hate me that much. That's why it, it looks possible. Vassalize them? They're so huge, though. Yeah, whatever. They're, they're like 20 provinces. So the, distance be so the distance between borders is only a minus 56. I would have been able to get rid of that. Um, our military power would have been close to equal at that point. So that would have been gone. I might have had a little bit more than them at that point. Mm -hmm. It's just the base tax that's giving us a big negative. Mm. It's back on January 4th. Oh, that's forever away. Do I really want to position myself against the Ottomans? Yeah, totally. <laughs> Why wouldn't you? I, I mean, you know. The Ottomans are weak. They're very small. Byzantine yeah. Empire is going to... They're going to grow. Where's the Akkiyunlu? They're uh, like a one or two province minor in uh, the Middle East. Because that's uh, Manchu's new rival. 
Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. They're just gonna walk over, like, the entirety of Asia. Yeah, I don't know where... <laughs> I don't know where they it's are. It's like, seriously, what, like, what one the... province near the Ottomans. Well, they're really upset with them, apparently. <laughs> Did you know you're allowed to embargo your vassals? Is that actually, why. Is that just a free way to get extra trade power, basically? Well, it, it hurts your relationship with them, and unless you have them rivaled, it costs you trade efficiency. Mm. So I don't think you can rival your vassals. But you can. You can You can embargo them. It's kind of weird. That's pretty jacked up. All right. Yeah. Well, if I can't conquer Manchu, maybe I should take, start taking steps to try and vassalize them. Yeah, I mean, if they'll accept it, I guess. You, you could force them into it via a war if there's no guarantee of their independence. Well, they're allied with the Ming. So. Oh, no, that's messed up. Yeah, I can't do anything about it. They're, oh, the Ming is at war with the Oirad Horde right now. Are they? I wish I could declare war with the Oirad Horde without losing five prestige. Well, <laughs> five prestige. I mean, uh, not five, five stability. Oh, five, okay, that's messed up. Yeah, no. You have Don't a truce, do right? Not with, uh, oh no, minus two, sorry, two stability. Still, that would bring me to negative two stability. Two so stability that. because of no CB? Yep. Uh, if you want to go to war with them, I could send you an alliance request, and then you would get a call to arms. I'm trying to think what I would take from them. Yeah, that's the other thing, is that you just you don't border anything right now. Eh, whatever, I don't really care. Ming's about to carpet seize the shit out of them, so. I believe it, yeah, so I'm, I'm just following this... Uh, this Ming's war. gonna get really fucking big. Because if, Mathis, if you're too lazy to come in on the Oirat Horde war, I'll just wait for your uh, the sugar daddy to do it for you. Well, he's already in. He's already <laughs> doing it. That's what I'm saying. The Ming's I, already carpet sieging. That's I know, scary. I know, I know. I, I gotta get in there. But I'm just waiting until, like, the Ming actually win a battle. And then I'm gonna come in. Oh, why? They they still have a ton of uh, Oirat Horde still have. They only have 23,000. Yeah, they have 23,000 right now. And 7,000 manpower. I have 21, well, 25,000, but four of these regiments are guarding a colony. I actually kind of hope the Oirat Horde does some damage against the Ming. That would be nice, because then maybe you could come in on Manchu. Yeah, that's exactly what I would do. Hmm. I mean, Manchu's, dead. Manchu's in the war, obviously. They're, they're marching over. Hmm. I'd love to jump in on Manchu right now, but... Ottomans hmm. at war with Byzantium. They still exist, huh? Okay. I can barely see some pink or red or something over there. Is that Byzantium? Yeah, or it could be, or it could be um, Cyprus. Right, right above Kara Kuyonlu. Oh, oh, that is Kandar. Oh, yeah, of course. <laughs> I can see some pink right to the left of Kashmir. Pink right to, that's the Timurids. Gotcha. Who are still very strong. But not actually allied with anyone, which is weird. I want cannons. Why can't I have cannons? Are those military tech level six? Because you're in India. Seven. Seven. Jeez. Yeah. I have, um, I just did get my first idea group, and I already have two ideas now. What did you take? I got diplomatic ideas. I got an extra diplomat and reduced time to fabricate claims. Hmm. It's pretty useful, actually. Makes sense. And I'm not going to forget to raise my maintenance this time. You know, the Oirat Horde is actually beating Ming right now. That's awesome, actually. <laughs> well, it's because Ming is doing the stupid AI thing where they, he separates his army. Oh, yeah. Look at, like, he's just carpet sieging, but he has no bulk army to defend. I would love to go to, I would love to come to Ming's aid, but apparently they haven't discovered me yet. So, <laughs> I don't know why that for some reason I got such a huge amount of uh, vision on the map when most of the countries that I see can't see me. Yeah, I don't get that. I can't. I don't know where the fuck you are. I can't see past Chagatai. I really think it's just related to tech group. Mm. Depending on which group you start off in. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I guess nomad group. What? How many points do you lose out on per month? One. That's it. Okay. Technology how much? Cost, uh, like technologies cost 175 percent of normal though. Oh, Tibet's mm. allied with. Oh, the Oirats. Okay, Tibet's fighting on Oirats' horde side. Got it. You know how many men they have? Probably not many. Tibet. Yeah, about 3,000. <laughs> okay, not really any o at all. Oirat has 22,000. Ming has... Ming has 77. For Last now, Ming has 50. 
Okay, 50,000 now. So I don't know if they've lost 27,000 men. The the Oirat horde has lost like four. Thousand. Yeah, they have. They've lost they've lost that many men. Uh, they had 77,000. Don't ruin this for me, AI. Ming's in a full retreat with some of their men right now. Come on. Just put them all together and steamroll them. He's got 21,000 men over here. Oh, this is the Oirat horde. Oh, the Oirats are just marching around just crushing his armies. Wonderful. I can so easily just like come in on them here. Don't take that out of context. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can just come in yeah. <laughs> on him here. <laughs> I said don't that's, take it out of context. That's pretty bad. You're taking it out of context. Oh god, I keep fighting with insufficient support because I'm silly and I assume that my AI little vassals will support me with infantry and they don't. Fortunately, cavalry are pretty strong. Hmm. How many troops does Kazan have right now? 5,000. That's what I like to see. Um... Man. I'm gonna keep an eye on that Oirat Horde war, but I think they might actually win. So I've got a, yeah, a they second are winning. plan. That's fucked up, man. Ming has like triple their troops. But, but, but I'm, it's so easy to see why, though. Like, the Ming just separated all of their army. They're losing another battle right now. <sighs> how do you do? How do you fuck that up so bad? That just makes me confident to go to war with them. <laughs> I should just go to war with Ming and then just, uh, and then just yeah. let him carpet siege and then take out his armies one at a time. Yeah, but he won't do that against you. He'll yeah, <laughs> actually. <laughs> Use good tactics against oh, you. Oh, Ming is now, they've pulled it back a little bit. I think. I just, I'm, I would rather have the Ming win because they're further away, and the Oirad Horde is already so strong. Actually, Manchu just sieged a piece of the Oirad Horde's land. Nice. Oh, I got a stability. Oh, I was supposed to break the royal marriage first. Whatever. That's fine. Admin points aren't worth anything anyway. <laughs> what? <laughs> Did you just say what I think you said? Yeah, admin points aren't worth anything anyway. Yeah. I'd actually rather not have them. I'm just saving my points for westernization now. <laughs> You're actually going to westernize? I don't know. I mean, I, I do border Muscovy, so it shouldn't be impossible. I need them to westernize first, though. They have military tech level 6. That scares the shit out of me. Hmm. Hmm. All right, well, things are looking pretty good down in India. I'm about to, to win this war with Malwa. I'm going to have Gujarat siege back their course so that they pay the dipple points instead of me. All righty then. And I'm uh, just going to beat up Bengal because they felt like getting involved in this war because they're dummies. I tried to protect them from it by annulling their treaties in the last war, but yeah, they well, joined up again. You can lead a horse to water, but uh, you can't make a drink. Yeah, that's or exactly right. The opposite. Which I don't know what that would be. Anyway. I think the Oirats might have ended up losing this. I can't tell. If they do, I want to get in there quickly. They're minus six right now. And they have 11,000 men. So that's good. But unfortunately, because I'm an idiot, I declared a different war in the meantime. I, I think if it. Manchu gets a piece of land, I'm going to support some rebels. Try to undermine them just a bit. That's one thing I don't think I've ever done in uh, EU4. Support rebels? Yeah. You should do it right now. <laughs> if you have spare money. Uh, like, not really. I mean, the the real cost to it, I think, is actually that you have to tie your diplomat up. Yeah, exactly. If they just get rid of that part and make it so that you could... Like, it was one of those send actions where you, you send it and then it's done. Yeah. That'd be nice. Apparently, yeah. I can't I can't so support rebels in uh, Ming right now. I will, though, once that option's available. There are no rebels to support. That means they're right. very, very stable. They're very stable. You gotta wait till something bad happens, and then you can do it. Or they get some new land, which they're about to get. Stop being ally was Ming. God damn it! 
I'm very excited about my next Diplo idea because I'll get Diplomatic Relations plus 2 and Global Trade Power plus 10%. Which would yeah, be nice. That, that I have 244 nice. settlers. That's pretty good. It's interesting that you, you both decided to go colonization. I don't it's know. easy. It's e For right now, it makes the most sense for me because I can't expand elsewhere. And I have uh -huh. a lot of land to colonize near me. Like, Excuse directly me? north. We'll see. <laughs> Are you that close to me? Nah, we we could split, like... You can see all of the Oirat Horde? Yeah. Like, bare well, minimum. I think, I think I can. I think If you can see, like, Oirat Horde, basically, like, yeah. the, the border between the R and the A seems like a really nice kind of, like, border for us to split up Siberia. Sure. If you ask me, at least. My plan right now is to colonize the lands leading over to Japan, so that I can just walk over to Japan. There's a... There's a freaking walk over part. Can I? There's a straight that leads right from oh, uh, Darren yeah. to Saklahin. And is there is there a straight that leads over to here? Oh, maybe not. I don't think you can walk over from like what is now Russia, but I guess yeah, having that like land that you can just walk over colonized if it's not colonized right now would be awesome. Yeah. Hmm. I need one of those events that gives me a bunch of uh, settlers. I've had a couple of those. I've gotten pretty lucky. That would be nice. But now that I've blocked off Moscovy or Muscovy, I'm gonna just push as far as I can west or sorry east as quickly as possible, just to like hopefully block you. But <laughs> I, I don't have very good settling power, so I'm pretty sure we're just gonna meet at like the exact same point anyway. Yeah, I don't have very good settling power either. So. Mm -hmm. I have 1,300 ducats. Wow, that's uh... Jesus. I have 13. Yeah, I've just been it's just 40. been stockpiling for the last like thirty years. Nothing to use. I it on. don't know what to do with it. I mean you build a strait or something. Or sorry, yeah, build could, a canal. Yeah, build one of the Suez Canal or something. There's gotta be a canal on this side of the country, this side of the world I can build, right? Yeah, why not? Just to, to you know, save sailors like half a day of sailing around the tip of India. Alright. But um I think I'll save it up and eventually if we get technology that allows for the uh, the really expensive things they cost a lot of gold. Manufactories. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I'd rather build a manufactory than spend money on uh, all the other stuff. That or a whole bunch of temples. That'd be nice too. Yeah. Then you could uh, you know unify the Islamic faith after you take over Constantinople. Okay. As a Hindu. Yeah. Exactly. I'll unify the Muslim faith. Okay. Yeah. Got it. I'll get right on that. You should do it. Oh, I mean, it, would, it would be unprecedented. I, I almost have idea group for conquistadors and so on. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. there is some Terra Incognita. At least for me, there's Terra Incognita over there. Yeah, directly north of my colony, I can't see anything. So well, you might actually—I um, don't know how long it'll actually take, but once when you get those ideas for like colonial range, you might be able to make it over to like Alaska. Yeah, so it's definitely a possibility. Because Korea Almost and North five America military too. rewrite That'd be history. Awesome. Right. I just took a, a base tax seven province off of Kazan because they're going to implode yep. anyway. Yep. Awesome. Have fun coring that. Yeah, uh, it costs 145 <laughs> admin points. It's quite a bit. Yeah, admin points aren't worth anything. <laughs> You heard it here first, folks. <laughs> <laughs> straight from the horse's mouth. It's Northern Lion straight blowing up the meta of EU4. Straight. Admin points aren't worth anything. Straight blowing it up. Japan has fucking no men right now. Oh god. They have a thousand they have a thousand men, that's it. The Oirat Horde actually fought back. Okay. They have ten thousand men right now. I'm going in on them. Allied with Tibet. Alright. Uh Wow, how did I already get ninety nine percent war score against them? That I guess they pretty crazy. Alright, I've got a quest for the new world now. That's good. Go uh where do you know, I recruit these guys, though? Circumnavigate the globe. Uh, it's in your military tab. It is? Uh, or you could, like, 
Are you if you're trying to get a conquistador, you could just like yeah. like highlight an army, and then where you would normally apply a military leader, you just click on like the helmet. Oh my lord! Right. That that alarm is persistent today. I can attack the natives <laughs> into military power for whatever that'll do. Um, uh, I'm I'm almost ready. Just give me like one second here. Is this gonna finish pretty soon? I basically I declared war on the Oirat Horde after you know. Yeah, eight episodes of foreplay, so I just got to set it up properly. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, I mean I'm destroying. I'm like the only power that's going to remain in India after this war is Delhi. Mm. So, so I should probably break my alliance with them. Yeah, they're going to get called into a war soon because I'm I'm about to have one of my vassals have a border to Delhi. Okay. Um, dissolve this alliance. Now that is some cloak and dagger type politics right there. You and I know what's happening, but Delhi has no idea. Mm -hmm. Well, all right, I'm, I'm ready to call it if you guys are ready. Yeah, okay. All right, well, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thanks for watching. And uh, make sure to check out other people's perspectives. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye. See you soon.